Hello, YouTube. Oh, Watch this. Oh, oh. Nah. Stop filming. Hello, my very attractive alpha viewer. Today, you will learn how to change game variables with Sheet Engine, such as gems or ammo, to whatever you want. Just imagine the possibilities. This tutorial is perfect for those who are new to game hacking and is a must if you're trying to grow more knowledge in the area. Don't forget to subscribe, like or write a comment. I would love to hear the next feature you want me to cover. You can also find the Discord server in the description. Now, don't be a douche. Do not use sheets for unfair advantages. Do not use it in multiplayer. You will get banned. Just don't do it. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled. Now enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's showcase. What you will learn in this tutorial is to use Shitanya, change the values inside of a game. For example, we have our game here. It has the gems 199. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to find the address of this and then change the value to whatever you want, like 999. You can see here that it goes up and up and up. So that's what you will learn today, and I hope you enjoy. Welcome to today's tutorial. If you don't have Sheet Engine installed, Make sure to watch my download and installation video. It will cover how to install Sheet Engine without the bloatware. So make sure you have Sheet Engine ready. Should be able to just start it up like this. Here we have it. For the game, I chose Shanti, uh, Alf Genie Hero, something, something. And I think it will make for a good example to illustrate today's lecture. So let's click on play. So in game we have our character. We can do stuff, but we also have an in-game currency. 259 gems. So our target for this tutorial will be to change that using Shitanya. The first step would be to attach the game. Let's open Shitanya. Click on the select a process button. Like that. Then we select our game. Mine is Shante. You might have something else. Once Shitanya has attached, you will see the text of your program. Now, what you do in Shitanya, for the most part, will be to search for a value that you want to investigate. Our value is 259, but bear in mind, the value you see in the game and so on might not always be a whole number, it might be a decimal number. If that's the case, or if it's a different data type, you might need to change your value type in the search. For example, the health in many games uses a float data type instead of the 4 bytes or integer whole numbers type. But since we don't see any decimal points here and so on, we will make the assumption that it's a whole number and we will use 4 bytes. After that, we search for our value. So we will investigate. 259. We click on first scan to get all of the addresses that have this value. So she then yeah, searches all of the game and gives us these results. So you could probably change all of these and it might give us a result. You might change the value of the gems. 
but doing this can result in a crash and it's not really uh, a long-term solution just changing 860 different addresses we want to keep or remove some of these addresses to finally find where the actual gems are so we go back inside of the game and get some more gems we can get some by eliminating some enemies in this game so and that was a gem now we have 260 gems in total we go back into sheet engine we search for the new value 260 now these addresses you can see that they don't display the value 260 which means when we click the next scan they will disappear they will be filtered out i only have two addresses here now so let's check these out we will click on the first one then hold shift click at the end of the addresses we only have two now but we will then click on the arrow copy all selected to our lower address table here we will change the value of each address and inspect what happens in game it might be this first one and we change it by double clicking on the value or right click change record then value here we can write a new value 300 let's check in game if it actually changed or not so it's it got up to 300 but then counted down this address sort of only mimicked the gems and uh, i think it's it's only for display so let's change the next address value let's change it to 400 then inspect what happens in game so it actually went up it's now 400 and it stays on 400 let's change it to something else 999 and it keeps going up so i think this is our gem value let's see if we take some gems and it stays at 999 so i think we reached the maximum gem value this means we can remove the first one that mimicked right click then delete address and change the description to its rightful deduction it is the gems now we will investigate pointers in another video but thank you for following this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye